Hello everybody. Uh, today we will continue the um, polymer properties and we'll consider another important property of polymers which is the mechanical property. As I said before, this mechanical property is dependent on the polymer temperatures and thus on the polymer structures. When we say mechanical properties, otherwise uh, we mean the response of polymers to the application of a force. And this indicates two types of polymer behaviors. We have the elastic behavior and the plastic behavior. To be able to understand these behaviors, let's take the example of a rubber band and we will study the variation of the rubber band um, shape as function of applied force. So here I represent the variation of stress means the force applied over the polymer as function of strain, which, which means the deformation of the polymer um, after applying a certain force. So if we go back to our rubber band um, and if you apply a certain force by stretching for example there is a deformation of its shape we have elongation but if you stop stretching or you release it what happens it will go back to its original shape so here by applying the force we have the deformation and higher is the force applied higher is the deformation but we can't do this in infinity way because after a certain time or after exceeding certain force you will observe that the rubber band does not return to its original shape and if you continue increasing the force the rubber band will get broken so here we have the part where the uh, after applying the force the rubber band uh, goes back to the original shape we talk about the elastic zone and we talk about the polymer elastic behavior which is the return to its original shape once the force is removed and as i said we can do this in infinity way because we will arrive to a point which is the elastic limit and after this point we will start another uh, behavior or another uh, zone which is the plastic zone so here we apply force and we will the polymer will not re return to its original shape so we have the elastic zone which is the linear variation of stress versus strain and then we will arrive to the elastic limit after this point the polymer will not return to its original shape and thus this is a plastic zone and here we observe that for small variation of stress we have a high variation of strain so انتو بتلاحظوا انو المغايطة انجأ بتشدوها بصير في كتير هي عم تمعط كتير عم تعمل deformation بالأول كانت من شدة بترجع مثل ما كانت من شدة بترجع مثل ما كانت لحد ما نوصل لمرحلة ان احنا من شدة وما بترجع مثل ما كانت وحتى انا انجا بشده بتعمل ديفورميشن كتير كبيره and this will continue till the point where we have fractures or where the uh, rubber band will get broken and here will not will lose the mechanical properties of polymers so we have the elastic uh, behavior return to original shape of the polymer after removing the force we have the plastic behavior no return to original shape but some, some materials or some polymers have combination of elastic and plastic behavior so we can conclude that the polymer behavior otherwise the mechanical properties of polymers depend on the force applied on these polymer materials so we are interested by this elastic zone for the polymer 
applications and as you remember uh, when I talked before about natural rubber we said the natural rubber we don't have a perfect elasticity that's why we made vulcanization of rubber to add few cross links to be able to control the elasticity of these rubber materials and here one while we want to use this mechanical properties and this variation of stress versus strain we will use this uh, linear variation where the slope of this linear variation is named the young models which is a physical parameter that describes the rigidity rigidity of a material so higher the slope more rigid is the material or the polymer because we have to apply higher force to be able to stretch or to compress this material to correlate mechanical properties with the temperature we have to take a polymer and we apply different forces over it and we draw stress versus strain for different temperatures and we determine young modulus for each case so if we consider temperature one we will apply different forces and we will follow the deformation that can happen and we have the elastic part and we determine the first young modulus at first temperature if we take another example and another temperature and we do the same and also more temperature another temperature third temperature and we do the same thing and we compare here the variation of young modulus what we observe we can observe that by increasing the temperature young modulus decreases why because by increasing temperature the material get more flexible so i need less stress to apply over it to be able to stretch or to deform this material now if i take the different values of young modulus and i draw the variation of young modulus as function of different temperatures for two types of polymers crystalline and amorphous polymers we observe that at low temperatures young modulus is not influenced by the variation of temperature but when the system reach certain specific temperature where it gets specific enough free volume to have flexibility in the system so at this point or this temperature is the tg and here we observe important variation in the mechanical properties of the polymer where we shift from glassy state to rubbery state for the crystalline polymers and from amorphous and from brittle to soft material for amorphous polymer if we continue increasing the temperature we observe another variation of the mechanical properties for the crystalline polymers where we shift from the rubbery state to fluid material or to fluid state as i said before crystalline polymers has two transitions and two temperatures the glass transition temperature and the melting temperatures temperatures but amorphous polymers do not have true melting point here we can't observe another change in the physical or in the mechanical properties we continue from the viscous materials to fluid materials without any um, remarkable variation in the modulus and the young models what happens if we continue increasing the temperature in fact after melting if we continue increasing the temperature the polymer will have degradation polymers are so heavy materials so after melting they cannot vaporize so just we have degradation of polymers thus polymers cannot exist under gaseous state they exist just under solid state 
or rubber states mean uh, fluid states but never under gaseous state.